Kyle, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, we're really uh, eager to hear about uh, MRG. Um, so when you're ready, uh, you can share your screen and uh, present to our wonderful panelists. MRG Health, we are a population health disease specific virtual care management and clinical call center solutions company. Uh, we have proven technologies, business models with uh, traction and profitability of, and sustainability. We have a dedicated team of passionate subject matter experts dedicated to the mission and executed contracts uh, with strategic partners and customers that will uh, get the company profitable uh, with minimal funding. Uh, we have a uh, mission to disrupt the health and wellness models domestically and internationally serving chronically ill underserved patients. And our mission is to serve 100 million people within the next three to five years. Now we've broken down the current state of healthcare by patients, staffing, private practices, the large care systems, 1,000 people a day by 2030, they're saying there's going to be over 71 million people that are over 65. Staffing, one of the biggest issues in care. Three point health care workers this year, and it is so big problem there with private. Uh, doctors losses in income large mission pen penalties are exceeding 500 million dollars uh, just this year so huge problems in healthcare. and these are just some of the problems we're solving with mrg health and smart care 360. when you look at the problems we kind of break it down by physician and patients you have access to care issues with patients physicians have to see 20 30 patients a day to really make and me, and so we've been able to really consolidate a lot of these uh, technologies and problems uh, to, to create real solutions that, that we've been able to uh, prove out here. When you look at the market opportunity, it's, it's gigantic, not only here domestically, but internationally. Uh, Frost and Sullivan, they say that by 2025, uh, the, the virtual care market's gonna grow by 7X. The US ACO market's going from 13 billion to 29 billion by 2027. And the US care primary mar market is valued at 260 billion and it's growing by 3.2% by 2030. So large, large market here. We're living in a perfect storm. You have uh, technology advancements with wearables, biometric sensors, internet communications, handheld devices. Uh, the government's behind all of this. They've issued a lot of new CPT codes, care models for Medicare, Medicaid, and, and now a lot of the commercial payers are following. And 70% of doctors just aren't billing these codes. They don't have the IT infrastructure, processes, protocols, systems, staff. And so CMS has increased a lot of these reimbursements by 41% in January. Uh, so our process, we go in, we identify patients that have one or more chronic disease through diagnosis codes. We enroll them. Uh, or, or get them into a list to help identify with the doctor. Uh, and then from there, we enroll them into our program, create a better patient experience, uh, you know, improve outcomes and just entirely new profitable revenue. So we've consolidated a very, very fragmented industry. You have telehealth, remote patient monitoring, principal care, chronic care management, remote patient monitoring, uh, ther remote therapeutic monitoring. There's, there's all these different things. We've consolidated it all in one, one platform. And at the end of the day, we're improving access to care and enhancing patient clinical outcomes, increasing patient compliance and adherence. And this is resulting in immediate savings and revenue opportunities, either through the fee for service model or managed care contracting. Uh, our software is, is in the app and Google Android stores. It's also web-based. Uh, it's in eight different languages, but technically a, a patient can have a flip phone with no Wi-Fi, no internet, and we can still see whether or not their vitals have come in and we integrate with over 250 devices, FDA approved, including Apple, Fitbit, Garmin, uh, and uh, Android. So what we do with, with our two core technologies um, is we, at the end of the day, identify the patients, maximize the healthcare organizations, one of their largest assets, which is the patient base. And then we leverage our technologies, automate workflows and, and create entirely new cash flow. Uh, our services, the, the core is virtual care management, revenue cycle management, and clinical call center solutions and staffing. 
Uh, when we break down our services, we kind of offer more of a white glove service. It, it's an end-to-end -end solution. The only time the healthcare organization really gets involved is if the patients are not compliant. We then escalate those charts, and then there's a protocol or workflow that we go through that's under the doctor's orders. Uh, our service model is very different than a lot of the competitors out there. We've broken down uh, just some of the capabilities on the billing and collections, the, just the technology in general, our staffing solutions, uh, and then just the profitability compared to our, our competitors. The platform has a lot of capabilities. Um, there's multiple user interfaces for the patient, admin, remote caregivers, even the family. We do have gamification, loyalty, and rewards, and we're intensely focused on the patient adoption. I mean, if the patients don't use this, everyone loses. Uh, we have to have supply chain for devices. That's why we integrate with over 250. We're consistency lowering healthcare costs for, for the patients and for the, for the payers. We have a fully integrated revenue cycle management. We have all of the systems, processes, and protocols in place uh, for our sales and marketing and for service and delivery. This is a uh, competitor analysis on just more of the technology and the capabilities that we have when you lay it across some of the you know, top uh, customers or competitors in the space. Uh, and so we've really uh, been able to set ourselves apart. Uh, we have a ton of traction. I mean, from research and development, we pulled the technology around over 20 different PhD thesis studies, multiple community health assessments. Uh, we have done tons of customer uh, interviews and patient interviews to really develop the product. Um, the service and delivery, I mean, we have a fully developed product platform ready to scale. It's a multi-payment model. Uh, we're EMR and device agnostic. Uh, we also have uh, over 25 different pre-built uh, clinical care plans and uh, clinical decision support, over 200 uh, integrated gift card retailers for the gamification loyalty and rewards. Uh, thousands of EOBs and paid claims. We've been able to get to 90% adoption, 80% compliance, and less than a 5% churn. Uh, we have about four to 5,000 patients in our backlog ready to onboard. Uh, several academic partnerships with some of the largest uh, or, or most innovative uh, health informatics and IT programs in Texas. We've won some awards through the Texas Life Science Forum and uh, Texas Medical Center Innovation uh, Contest. And we've also received some grants from the state of Texas for a health informatics and IT training program. Uh, the company is now profitable. We have over half a million patients using the technology, about 2,000 on a managed care model. Uh, we're projected to hit uh, $100,000 in, in recurring revenue with a very uh, low burn rate, about 30 grand. And then by next year, we should uh, exceed uh, $3 million in annual runway. We have a committed team of, of subject matter experts ready to take uh, this, this company to the next level. Uh, again, they're, they're from a variety of different healthcare organizations and, and different uh, levels of healthcare and the technology side, uh, but we're all really uh, committed to this mission and vision here. Uh, we are doing a capital raise. It's, it's a, a friends and family kind of seed round. Uh, the, the company's been uh, kind of bootstrapped uh, to date, but we're uh, closing up the a million dollar round and that's used to onboard 20,000 patients in our managed care model. Uh, and then from there, we'll really uh, get ready to do a bigger round to, to really go to market and commercialize what we have. Uh, this is a uh, just kind of projected uh, revenue that's very conservative and, and there's uh, it's multiple uh, prospects based on the revenue model and, and the fact that this, this also applies to a lot of self-funded uh, insurance programs. Uh, so that's all I have on, on the presentation. Uh, I do have a little video. I'm not sure how we are doing on time. How are we doing on time? Uh, we have a couple of minutes, Carl, if you'd, if you'd like to share the video. Sure. Welcome. We are MRG Health your new partner in care. More than just a network of medical specialists, we're a family of passionate yes, healthcare okay. leaders united with uh, one yeah, goal, overcoming the many challenges associated with providing virtual comprehensive services in an increasingly digital world without sacrificing on quality of care to the patients that depend on you. Introducing Smart Care 360, your patient's new gateway to happy healthcare. Together, MRG Health your office and SmartCare360 can provide more services, increase billable hours, 
and generate more revenue while keeping more of your patients out of the hospital. All built around predetermined disease pathways that come with games and challenges to keep your patients engaged even when you're not around. Let's take a look. So we're seeing a patient's view. Here a patient has four primary tiles that we can adjust or customize. The platform is available in eight different languages via both Apple and Google, Android or web-based. And technically, a patient doesn't even need a computer. They can even have a flip phone with no Wi-Fi in their home. And we can still see whether or not they took their vitals and track other biometric or physiological data via their integrated smart tools. Here on the patient's dashboard, they have care tasks, challenges, screenings, data feed, and can easily view specific trends on their biometric data. These care tasks are customized and personalized around their social issues or chronic diseases that were being monitored. If we update insurance information or anything like that, it'll also update in their EMR. When we onboard a patient, we take them through a series of health assessments that have algorithms, rules, engines, logic on the background. Here we have all the different diagnosis codes that the insurance companies consider chronic. And it's the same thing with medication reconciliation. For example, if enter Tylenol, it'll all pops up here. That way we can flag any contradictions. Here you have functional health, daily living, psychosocial well-being or PHQ-9. Amazing, right? And as for determinants of health, all of those answers and questions go into the system. You submit it and it creates risk factors which we can then prioritize from red, yellow or green. From there it gives the patient an actual specific health score, similar to a credit score, from 0 to 25 so we can see at a glance how they are doing. Now I told it that I have a walker, that I live alone, that I don't have a car. And so those things automatically go into a care guide. And you can see we have specific problems, goals and interventions and the care tasks in green. Give the patient a specific three to five things that they need to do on a daily basis. And the system will do all of this extra work to incentivize them to do it. Best of all, their time spent engaging with it goes toward your ability to collect more revenue while improving health outcomes. The entire interface is seamless. As an example, I'm telling the system now that I completed my walk. Over here on my patient profile, you can see, oh, Kyle's completed his walk. This will be tracked and contribute to my activity. Or let's say the patient realizes, I've run out of medicine and I need to see a doctor in order to fill. Okay, well let me look at the schedule here. And wow, there's actually a doctor available in 30 minutes. All I have to do is claim it, and I would receive instant communication with the details. The patient gets the text message on their phone or their device, and instantly the telehealth visit starts. Over on the Revenue Cycle Management Dashboard, we set this up by location, by physician, by department, depending on the client's expectation. We track month-to-date claims, any rejects or denials, month-to-date deposits, and the turnaround time on the payments or velocity. Here we have a historical trend and we can see all of the important payer data on who we're processing claims through. It really is the best of all worlds for your office. When looking at AR reports and the different carriers, simply by clicking on financial metrics, we're able to pull AR reports by the carrier and pair group simply by the click of a button. We can create an AR report that breaks out over 180 days, all the revenue that's coming in. But that's just the beginning of how our payment, billing, and back office solutions can streamline everything you're doing so it's more profitable than ever before. By partnering with MRG and implementing SmartCare 360, your office can grow and thrive in new ways that would have been previously too cost prohibitive. Your patients deserve the best options for living better lives, and you deserve to be paid for delivering spectacular care. Don't wait. Visit our website or contact us directly to discover how together we can deliver happy healthcare.